Welcome to my machine embroidery projects compilation. Hi guys, welcome to my sewing embroidery channel. Today I have lots of stuff to embroider and so I'm going to use um, its machine embroidery and what I'm going to do first is I have this shirt that I picked up from Walmart. I'm going to put a tiny little rainbow in it just to kind of give it some creativity and some spunk. And then I'm also going to stitch up custom orders that I have. So let's get started right here. You will see that I stitch my stabilizers together just to save money. So it kind of looks like a patchwork quilt right here. And I'm just going to put on some music and I'm just gonna let you guys watch me while I do my embroidery projects. So right now I'm going to put this heat transfer vinyl on. So this is like an applique stitch out. So this is going to go on the base and I'm just gonna put my thread in here and it's the heat transfer vinyl and I use the sizer brand. So I'm going to stitch this in place and I'm just holding it right here just for a minute while all the stitches go in so that it doesn't move and I'm just trying to flatten it out right here. Notice that I didn't stop the machine to cut around the vinyl on the applique because this vinyl is going to tear away. So after I'm done with all the stitches, you'll see right here, I'm just going to tear it off. Look at how cute that is. So this font design can be found on Linny Penny. And I think it's just a really cute addition to this dress. I found this dress at Walmart and it was $3. So of course I picked it up. Moving right along, we're going right into the next project. This is another special order that I have, and uh, the little girl is part of a soccer team. So I'm just working on this one, and I'll let you see the stitch out. It says Legacy Lacrosse. Legacy Lacrosse. 
This is one of my favorite fonts. It's called the Harriet font, and I'll put a link to all these fonts in my descriptions tab below, but I feel like that turned out so good, you guys. If you've watched my videos, I'm actually getting really good. I'm just, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, so another thing that I have been working on is a custom order, and she wants to do this made strong so it's for ms so i did a few mock-ups but i don't know and she wanted it in orange but i like those ones i don't think she did so we did finally come up with one because this is my favorite font and it says made strong so we're going to get working on that one as well because it's going to be in the corner she wants it in the right hand corner so let's do that one Okay, what do you think? I'm thinking it's another win-win. So I packaged this up for her and she did say she loved it. So let's move on to the next project. Okay, so this is just my sample piece that I use to try to get an idea of what threads look good with what sweatshirts. And I think I'm going to go with the coral uh, with that coral outline. Let me find what, so you get a vision of what I'm doing. Okay. So let me move that out of the way. I decided I'm going to place it right here and I know what colors I'm going to go with. So I'm excited to show you guys what I decided with. So I'm going to safety pin this here and then I will meet you at my ironing board and we will prep it. And if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. So as you've probably noticed, I always turn my uh, sweatshirt inside out. I don't hoop them in the hoops. I float them. So this one, you can just kind of watch and see what I'm doing here. It's hard for me to put in words exactly what I'm doing. But right now, I'm just trying to find the perfect placement. And I'm going to iron it down and I make my markings as well. And I'll just stop talking so that you can just watch and see.
Okay, so I got my design on my files. So let's come over here, plug this in. Okay, I pulled my needle out and I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. So right now it looks like I'm gonna stitch right onto this, but we're gonna open it up here. So I'm just making sure everything is out of the way, like, you know, we don't have a sleeve underneath the hoop or anything like that. And then I'm gonna find my design. I got my placement right where I want it to be. color sort and then I pulled like the wrong file so it's actually doing um the pink and then the outline and then the pink and then the outline okay I am so sorry for the barking and yes it is my daughter not my dog and she pleaded with me to not edit this out of the video so please be patient with me and just enjoy the barking, but also the embroidering. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So I have to keep changing my thread, which is taking it a little bit longer, but that is okay. This is my daughter's other dog named Chill. My daughter is seven and I let her be part of the video because okay, I know one day she will grow up and we won't be as close anymore and she'll probably stop barking. Okay, okay. So now here we are, we have finished it. I gotta show you, there was a part that I made a mistake because my hoop went offline and it's right there. So I'm gonna have to unpick that. I had to go in and restitch it. You can kind of see where I made a mistake right here, but whatever it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful i just have to remember that so let me take it out of the hook i'm also going to do a stitch design on the wrist that's something that's really popular as well my mom just doing this oh why did you push record <laughs> don't know maybe they just wanted to see this Okay, so here's the sweatshirt. I'm gonna go try it on and see if I got the placement right, and then you guys can tell me what you think about it as well. Okay, so here is the placement of it. It's just a cute little uh, sewing machine, and it says Maker. So let me know what you think of the placement. I think it looks fine. It's hard to... Decided. And then, I'm sorry, I kind of did a thing when you guys weren't looking. This, I am so excited with this. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I am going to do a tutorial on how I did this just on my brother machine because I love it. kind of like a secret but I'm just going to tell you guys so make sure you subscribe and then also if you are interested in other embroidery projects oh like how if you need to know how I did like the hooping on this check out that video right there that shows you how I float my projects on um you know my hoop so thank you so much for watching and until next time happy sewing bye guys bye.